Good morning. So we are in Deschutes River State Recreation Area in Oregon. And this place is awesome. It's off of the highway just south of I-84 and east of the Dolls and they have a campground. An awesome river right here. With a really big day use area too. Never been here before and it's free. There's no fee for the day use area. You have to pay for camping, you know, of course that's it. But we're gonna hike along the river. There's a loop trail and a bike trail that goes 17 miles. So we're gonna go as far as we can. But they have 30 and 50 amp hookups here, I found out. And so by June, it gets really hot here. It's 100 degrees. And right now it's 50. But it is a really neat place. I like it. It looks very peaceful. It'd be fun to camp here. It took us four and a half hours to drive here. But it was worth it. We haven't seen sun for a while. Oh, it's going to be awesome. So the bike trail, there's thorns. They warn you to have tire repair kits. I guess there's some plant that's pretty bad. But um, we're going to get packed and ready to start hiking. So we had used the bathrooms in the campground, the porta potties, because the water's turned off in the flush toilet bathrooms. But they have fault toilets here I didn't know about. Yeah, I just talked to someone and verified you have there's no payment for day use here, which is really awesome. I have never seen a picnic area this nice before at a park like this. Wow. I almost think this is a camping area. I think it is a camping area because you self-register. Wow. So this is like a tent area. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a picnic day use area. So they have tons of camping here if you don't need hookups. And right now this area is closed for the season. I bet it opens soon. Oh, this is way cool. I gotta come here. So here's the rates. So the primitive tent sites, $10. $5 firewood. But, um... Yeah, this is really neat. And I'm wondering if this area is open. You just got to get to it from this road, not the way we walked. There's just no one camping here. Oh, I hear rapids. So I'm standing in site T76, right by the Deschutes River. How cool would that be? Oh yeah, I want to stay in this spot right here. You got a picnic table and a fire pit and the river right there. Yeah, this is, this is neat. All right, we need to look for the trail. I think it's this way. Here's the park trail map and we are there or here. And so they have these trails, Blackberry River View Loop, Ferry Springs, Deschutes River, 13 miles and Rock Pile. Wow. Yes, we just walked this way. See more signs down there. And there is duck poop everywhere. Never seen so much duck poop. Another bathroom. They got plenty of bathrooms. Oh, this is disgusting. The duck poop. Oh. Wow. Must be a migration area. Well, we made it to the start of the Blackberry Trail. 
and no bikes or horses on this trail. You got to be on the Deschutes River Trail for that. Dogs permitted on leash only. Oh, this is going to be fun. There's a nice view of the river. So it looks like you need to know what channel to take your boat up. It's pretty narrow in places, like the deep part of it, it looks like. And there's a lot of rocks. But that water is cold. So this is a giant river. Every time I stopped on shore, we weren't seeing the whole width. They're like little islands. Really neat. That is where we came from. Looking at the Washington Hills in the distance. And it is warm. It's like 50, but I'm getting hot. So here's a good viewpoint. We're following the Deschutes River south. Yeah, this is really neat. So I don't think there's any wildflowers yet, but I think we need to get out of this grass before we get to the wildflower area farther up there on the hillside. And it looks like there's a vault toilet out here in the middle of nowhere, which I'm very impressed with. To take my jacket off it's hot 50 degree hot So there's a full-blown outhouse, it looks like, on this blueberry trail. Never seen that before on a hiking trail like this. There's one on the other side too, actually. So I think it's for the fishermen. We saw two people in the water fishing over there on the other side. And what is this? Oh, it talks about fish and birds and it's in this area provided by sportsmen of Oregon so I wonder if we're out of the state park now we must be I love all the benches they have like this one here this is probably the fourth bench we've seen in a mile and a half they're very comfortable Oh, there's a nice fishing spot right there. All right, here's a good shot of the river as we hike. We had a little creek crossing, but we stayed dry. And some rocks and sticks to walk on. There's the river. Yeah, this is a nice, easy, leisurely pace so far on this trail. Hardest thing is just looking out for the rocks so you don't twist your ankle. And I wonder if this is where we go left to get to the bike trail. I think it is.
I don't actually know though. Oh yeah. You go straight, you're on the Riverview Trail. And that dead ends. Oh, we just climbed up 100 feet in elevation probably, and I am tired. It was steep. Oh, Riverview Trail. We're gonna have to do a check. So I don't know if we go this way. I wanna make sure we can access the bike trail. Let's go around this corner. Wow, that is so neat. Love the grass. Train track over there. Here's an awesome view of the river from the river view trail. Our pace has slowed down a lot. Stopping. This reminds me of Southern Utah, actually, in the Canyonlands area. That's probably 2,000 feet up the top of those cliffs. Oh, we made it to the bike trail. This is nice, easy walking. We can go like 15 miles if we want. Not today though. So it says these thorns get blown around in the wind. I don't know what they're coming from because it looks pretty safe right now to bike on. Every review and website I've seen mentions the thorns and carry bike repair kit but i would bike on this right now in the spring it's a river down there this is the boundary of the lower deschutes wildlife area 18,700 acres wow they have bighorn sheep Chukar, whatever that is, beaver, river otter, waterfowl, turkey, pheasants, songbirds. Huh. Pretty neat. I'd like to see a sheep, bighorn sheep. No bikes pass. Oh, you can't. Oh, no e bikes pass this point. So that's the Riverview Trail if we would have kept going on it. Wow, how does it come up? Oh, you gotta come up through this rock arch, I think. Oh, that is cool. Wow. Look at that. This is the trail going under the arch. That is way cool. And look at that rapids down there, wow. It's angry. Oh, this is amazing. All right, the views keep getting better. Saw our first mountain biker. Oh, yeah, we get this river in the background. That's my rapids. Oh my gosh, I don't know where we came from. Yeah, it is warm, like it's 50 degrees, but I have no jacket on now and I'm almost sweaty.
So this section and trail is neat. So there's these bugs flying around. We don't know what they are. They're annoying though. There's the river. Yeah, this is really neat. Look at that. Can you imagine rock climbing that? With rope. So neat. So the rail trail here abandons the railroad grade and it's taking us down because there's no bridge over that ravine. And check out that field. I'm trying to figure out who's growing what there and how they tilled it. Oh, I think they did get a tractor here. You can see marks on the trail here from something driving on it. Not what I expected though. So I think we went three, three and a half miles, probably three and a half miles maybe. And my goal is to go around that bend way in the distance and then we'll decide how much farther we want to go. We are going down into the ravine. Ah, there's a little creek we're going across. Rail trail is way up there. Yeah, it's very deceptive when you look off into the distance to say how far it is. Because everything's so big. That must have been quite the high trestle though, back in the day. Ah, this is how the tractor gets to the field. Wow, yeah, that would have been a big bridge crossing that. So there's some kayaks down there. Blue just entered the upper part of the rapids. Hopefully the camera's picking them up. If you're on a big TV, you should be able to see them. A little phone, probably not. Oh, uh, they're moving faster now. There he goes. That's the worst of it right there. He's going through. Oh, that looks fun. I wouldn't do it though. Ooh, he almost wiped out that second guy. Good job. So this is way cool by the trail. So look straight in front there. It's like a spiral how the rock goes like that and then it goes like that. That is neat. It's a giant seashell fossil. Dinosaur seashell. No, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Uh, yeah, this is neat. I hope this turns out good. Oh, something smells good over here. I don't know what it is. There's blue magic. <laughs> so that in the middle of the camera viewfinder, there's a mountain peak and way in the distance, that is Washington on the other side of the Columbia River. So here we are at ground level and you look up. Can you imagine water coming through that drainage chute? Jeez, that is incredible. 
Yeah, this is, Eastern Oregon is just amazing. I love it. I love this kind of landscape. And it's too bad the wildflowers haven't started yet. They're too early. Oh, here's a new, different angle of the rapids. So we are at the four and a half mile mark. This trail goes another, we've only done 25% of it. Those are 12, 13 miles. But look at the clouds in the background. It's really neat. We're going to go to this corner up ahead. That'll give us about five miles to turn around. And go eat in white salmon. Washington. And then head home. Wow, so check this out. This is a lava flow, and then it just stops up here. That is wild. Pretty sure that's a lava flow. I wish I had been a geologist. I didn't hike a lot back then, though, so I didn't know I would enjoy it. <laughs> An actual bridge here. Oh, this is the old part of the railroad, I think. Railroad ties, yeah. That's pretty cool. Maybe. Wow. It's a long way down. from that it just drops off <laughs> all right we're gonna turn around here every time you go around a corner you want to see what's around the next corner there is a road going up the other side and I wonder where that goes like it'd be fun to backpack this area just camp out clouds are neat though Look at the river. Yeah, this is pretty neat. So we'll do 10 miles today. 10 easy miles. We have turned around, headed back to the car. It should take us an hour and 45 minutes, two hours and max. If we go two and a half miles an hour. I definitely feel like we are in the middle of nowhere though now. You see some power lines, but that's it. Way off in the distance. Power lines are everywhere out here because of the dams. Yeah, this is a great winter hike or spring hike. It would be fun. Hoping our rain slows down in the next week or two. This is about as far as we can drive for a day trip and not seem like we're just driving four and a half hours each way but it's worth it for 10 miles I think of dry warm hiking sun sunny hiking oh there's a little squirrel he has no nuts. He has no trees. <laughs> oh, so those I-beams we saw, they used to build this bridge right here. I don't know why we just didn't walk on the road. <laughs> I like the bridge though. 
pretty nice. There must be another field down the trail here from the tractor, probably they did it. So here's another hole off the side of a trail and you see how the rocks radiate out in a circle around it. We wonder if it's a lava tube. It's just really neat. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. I think I'm close enough. But we are headed north. So we are about two miles away from the parking lot and the views are amazing still. All right, we had a biker go by, and I'm not sure if this is filming. So I think we're a mile, mile and a half from the parking lot. Got our first glimpse of the campground way, way in the distance there. And straight in front of us, I can't figure out if that's water coming down there in that chute, or if it's just white rock. Ah, here's an upside down bridge. But this trail is getting hard on the feet. Definitely. We're ready to be done. Wow, so all this drain is just coming down from that. All right, the battery went dead. So this is that creek we crossed on the trail coming in. It goes over the road here. Luckily today I had extra batteries though. Oh, that is neat. Those are the Washington side of the gorge in front of us. Ah, oh, getting hungry. Yeah, this grass is really neat. We we're wondering if it ever turns green because it's going into the dry season now. They must have monsoon thunderstorms in the summer, is all I can think of. Really neat. So here's the neat river crossing cable thing they have that we walked by earlier. And See the interstate? Almost back to the campground, less than a mile to the parking lot. Dogs are getting bad, kind of. I think we're ready to be done. Go eat. Yeah, I need to remember to bring my bug. I have a whole upper body bug suit I bought. Covers your arms, your waist, your head, your neck. Basically from your head to your waist it covers and I will love it. I didn't think we'd have bugs today though. What a beautiful area. The Deschutes River. So it is a, you can catch two fish a day if you have a permit, fishing permit. And you cannot fish from a boat, we were told. So people with boats will anchor their boat in the river and get out and fish when they find an area they like. Uh, looks like that burn pile is barely smoldering. You can still smell it kind of uh, on the left.
We are almost back. You can see the tent campground down there at the Deschutes State Recreation area. And where all the trees are is where the RV spots are. What a hike. I feel like we're in summer and it's so warm. I haven't had my jacket on for hours. It must be 60 degrees. You can see the interstate now and hear the traffic. Yeah, so all the reviews, they call this a little oasis in the desert. It is an oasis. Like when it's 90 degrees, 100, but this place is fun to be in the shade, playing in the water. Ah, so we just get back and we have a train and I wanted to see a train in the canyon. That would have been so neat. I mean, it would have, it's pretty loud here. It would have just echoed. I want to find out where it goes. BNSF. I was starting to think that track was rarely used. So you can see the back of the train. There's a tunnel that went through there straight in front. I wish this camera had to zoom, but if you have a TV again, you'll be able to see it. Ah, oh, this is so neat.